Hi and welcome! In this startup visualization and Python tutorial we will learn how to save Seaborn plots as PNG, PDF, EPS, TIFF and SVG file formats. Now if we plan to use the data visualization we created in Python, in scientific publications we also need to save them as high resolution images. Thus, in this data visualization tutorial we will learn how to do that as well. Note, most scientific journals will require us to use PDF, EPS or TIFF file formats. However, in this video we will only save the plot as a PDF in 300 dpi. That is, the Dutch per inch that we typically need. It is, however, easy to just change the file extension to save it in another file format. In the description below you will find links to a blog post and a Jupyter notebook with the code for this Seaborn tutorial, among other useful things. Check them out! And before we start coding, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button! Now, in this tutorial we're going to work with Seaborn, of course, but to save the figure or the plots we need to work with matplotlib. We're going to specifically work with the pyplot because there we have the method savefig which enables us to save Python plots. We're going to work with pandas as well because we're going to import data to a data frame using pandas. So we can start by importing the needed libraries. Import Seaborn as SNS import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import pandas as pd and we can run this. Now we're going to work with um, some data, of course, some example data to create some data visualization using Python. Now the data are going to be loaded from a URL and I'm just going to copy this and I, we create the string variable with a U, URL here. Now we're going to create the data frame using the read CSV method from pandas and now we can put the data here, the string here, that's our CSV file. So if you're working on a local computer, you put your um, directory here, or yeah, where you, the uh, something to point to the location where your CSV file is. And index call equals zero. The first column in this data set is the index column. And now we can see that everything worked by using pandas head and it prints the five first rows. All right, let's create a histogram. SNS dist plot df mpg. That's one way we're going to plot this variable. And now to save this, we use plt save fig youtube oops youtube png example file png so this will save the file that we created here and this is the file name and the neat thing with save fig is we just change the file extension to change the file format as we will see later, right? And here's our figure. Now we can see here that the file PNG is saved here, YouTube PNG example file. It's saved in the same folder, the directory as the Jupyter Notebook. We can open it by double clicking on it. And I open up it up in paint and here we see our histogram. Now we can also save the PNG as a transparent file. 
that is if we wanted to have the same background as <coughs> whatever we put the file on if it's a white background it will look exactly like this but if it's a black it will change of course so we use the transparent argument for this transparent and set it to true and just run this <coughs> will not be evident in this file, but in this file that we saved. And it will be in the same folder, again, as the Jupyter Notebook or your Python script, for instance. So if you want it to be saved in a different folder, you should put it here also. Like if you want it in a subfolder, you could save it like this, figures. Now, if we want to save the file as a PDF file, we can do that and we just change the file extension in the save fig argument. But now we're going to create a scatter plot. So we use SNS scatter plot and the X variable is going to be WT and the Y variable is going to be DRAT and the data is DF like this and then we get again use plot save fig saving a PDF file PDF like this now it's going to save a scatter plot as a PDF file See, here's our scatter plot. Again, we can see here saving a PDF file. So we saved the Seaburn plot as a PDF file here, and it's in the same folder as the Jupyter Notebook. And we can open this, and we see we have a PDF file. Okay. Now we're going to save the PDF file as a high resolution file. This is very easy also. We just add an argument, DPI, and as we said in the beginning, we're going to use 300 DPI. And it is as simple as this to save a Seaborn plot as a high resolution PDF file we just run this and we will have that in our file folder now we're going to save a seaborn plot as a, an eps file and we just change this so the scatter plot now the seaborn scatter plot is going to be saved as a high resolution eps file we just press press run and it will be saved and we can continue to plot the EPS file in landscape format so the orientation is going to be set to landscape this will not be evident here of course we will need to open the file to see that we have the scatter plot saved as an EPS in landscape format. Oh yeah, we need to change these, of course. Okay, it's now time to save a Seaborn plot as a TIFF file. So we can change the file name and most importantly we change the file extension. We change it to TIFF because we want to save it as a TIFF file and we run like this. Finally, it's time to save the Seaborn plot as a SVG file. This is the final example, and as previously, we just change the file extension here is important to save as a SVG file. And that's it.
In this tutorial, we have learned how to save Seaborn plots as files. More specifically, we learned how to save Seaborn plots as PNG, PDF, EPS, and so on. We have also learned how to save Seaborn plots as high resolution images. One thing we learned is how to save, as can be seen here in the plot, scatter plot, uh, a PNG that is transparent. Now, Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like this tutorial. Bye!